Hi everyone welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before starting the video if you are new haven't subscribe our YouTube channel press the subscribe button. In today's video we will learn what is aging. Introduction Aging is a lifelong process of growing up and growing old. It begins at conception and ends with death. So, in this sense, we are all aging from the time of birth. In our younger years, aging is called by other names. For example, aging includes three parts. A. Growth and development in our infant years. B. Maturation in our teenage and young adult years and C. Senescence after age 30. So, aging should be explained based on these three parts. The human body changes in many noticeable ways with age, and aging is often accompanied by decline in bodily functions. However, a decline in function is different from loss of function that results from disease. Perhaps the first sign of aging occurs when the eye cannot focus easily on close objects. Often by age 40, many people find it difficult to read without using glasses. Hearing also changes with age. People tend to lose some ability to hear the highest pitched tones. Types of aging. Chronological aging. Biological aging. Psychological aging. Social aging. Functional aging. 1. Chronological aging. Chronological aging is the number of years a person has lived so far. An 85-year-old lady is chronologically older than a man who is 75 years old. However, chronological age may not match a person's biological, psychological, or social age. For example, the 85-year-old woman may be an active volunteer, while the 75-year-old man could be homebound. Sometimes we say, he looks younger than his age, or she does not act her age. In these cases, the biological, psychological, and social age do not match the chronological age. 2. Biological aging Biological aging involves the loss of cells over time. With biological aging, tissues and organs are less likely to function efficiently, the body's ability to repair itself slows down, and the immune functions decline making the body more prone to infection. Biological aging is sometimes referred to as physical aging. A person who keeps fit and gets regular checkups can appear biologically younger than someone who is the same age but does not keep fit. 3. Psychological aging Psychological aging involves changes in memory, learning, intelligence, personality, and coping. An older person who is mentally active and is able to deal with new situations can be said to be psychologically young. 4. Social aging Social aging refers to changes in roles and relationships as we age. For example, it is not unusual for older people to gain new roles, like becoming grandparents. Or they may change roles from an employee to a retiree. With role changes in later years, society may expect people to behave in certain ways. So, for some people, it may not be proper for grandma to go roller skating or bungee jumping because these are things that young people do. The social age of a person in a given context can be very important because it shapes the meaning of aging for the person and this can make aging a positive or negative experience. 5. Functional aging Functional age is a concept that rests on the premise that a measure other than chronological age could better reflect one's position in the aging process. Functional health status assesses functioning at the level of the whole older person, describing how that person functions in daily life.